Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Prosecutor just blindsided Kavanaugh accuser with massive legal verdict. Democrats have been hit with several surprising twists and turns in the last couple of days in this political drama of a latest alleged sexual scandal. However, they definitely didn't see the judgment GOP prosecutor, Rachel Mitchell, who questioned Dr. Ford at the hearing, was about to hand down. Over the last two day, Americans have watched history unfold before our eyes as everyone was glued to whatever device they could get the Brett Kavanaugh slash Christine Blasey Ford hearing on. The intensely emotional testimonies, grilling, and debate played out better than anything Hollywood could create, but came to a shocking delayed resolve on Friday. A clear winner between the accuser and accused was supposed to be decided today at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It was a tight competition for the decision between Democrats and conservatives in the Senate, despite Dr. Ford's substantial lack in details on the allegation of sexual assault she was using against Judge Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's future, one that he's worked his entire life to achieve a seat in the highest court in the country, was in the hands of all Senate members. The first full day of the hearing on Thursday proved the new low our nation has come to, especially the Senate. Sexual allegations have become the new norm seemingly as a tactic of the less to detail a decision they disagree with. It's repulsive and it ruins lives. These unfounded allegations get far too much attention, only perpetuating the problem that puts democracy in peril. The depraved antics we witnessed yesterday has ruined the reputation of a good, fair, and accomplished man, regardless if he's ultimately appointed and exonerated, or not. His wife and children have lived through an unconscionable ordeal that they will be reminded of with jabs and questions the rest of their lives. This all came from a questionable woman's vague and distant memory of a situation in which she can't substantiate with details or verifiable facts. Even the four people she named as being there, one of which was a very close friend of hers, said they were not at the party where the alleged assault took place and have no recollection of ever being at such an event like this that Dr. Ford described. Yet, here we are going into another full week without a decision so the FBI can investigate the seemingly unstable woman's non-corroborated memory of an alleged attack where she even went as far as to claim that she thought Kavanaugh might accidentally kill her. Dr. Ford told her truth before the Senate Judiciary Committee and hundreds of thousands of Americans watching. But more importantly, she had to answer to Rachel Mitchell, a career sex crimes prosecutor, and seemed to come up very short and inconsistent on important questions the prosecutor hit her with. After approximately four hours of Dr. Ford speaking and answering questions, Kavanaugh had his chance to defend his good name. Once he was done sharing his emotional and moving defense, Mitchell gave her verdict. Democrats were not happy. Wired Sources reports the outcome of Mitchell's shocking decision. Senator Lindsey Graham echoed the same important fact in his statements, having spent much of his life in law, including as a prosecutor. Lacking this evidence means that there's no way of proving probably cause and showing reason beyond a shadow of a doubt that's necessary for action against the accused. Kavanaugh, a constitutional judge, was not treated with the rights owed to him as an American. He was presumed guilty until proven innocent and the left wasn't going to let him prove he was, despite nothing but a distant, and well-timed, memory to go off of. Without investigation, trial and evidence, a woman from 36 years ago was given the pass to demolish this man and his family's life, with the potential of rendering him unemployable as a law professor and judge, even if he didn't make it on to the Supreme Court. Regardless of what is ultimately decided on the Senate floor, following the FBI's unnecessary investigation, this good man's life will never be the same. Neither will his innocent families. The man who has spent decades delivering justice was deprived that very right by Democrats who imposed what seemed to be an 11th hour plan to delay or demolish his confirmation onto the Supreme Court. Thankfully, Mitchell saw through the charade and was fair and honest, prioritized facts, details and respected the due process Kavanaugh deserves. Ford's confused story lacking the most important facts of when, where, proving who, and witness testimony, wouldn't have even have a chance to hold up in court. So it shouldn't have ever been allowed to hold up a confirmation of a Supreme Court judge. As such, Mitchell did the honorable thing of not even pressing this case since it's simply a pointless distraction. Democrats have reached a deep new low by either giving this claim any credence at all or creating the scandal themselves. This is a national disgrace and proof that to the left, politics are not about bettering our country, it's about strengthening their power and perhaps their pocketbooks after doing so. This desperation move with Dr. Ford as their tool was not ironic on timing, considering the midterm elections are right around the corner. They have the opportunity to reclaim control of Congress and have proven nothing and nobody is off-limits to get to that goal.
It's never been more important than now for Republicans or liberty-loving slash anti-scandal Americans to flood the polls with our votes. Passivity in doing so only passes power to people who don't have your best interest in mind and your pursuit of happiness. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.